Good afternoon. Everyone. Yes, guys, we are here in Barstow, uh, California now. Yes, we're in California. And we're here at a very unique McDonald's. Let's go have lunch. Okay. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Here's a really unique McDonald's. You can actually eat in a train car, Dawn. I'm kind of excited. Yes. Well, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. Let's we get lunch. we slept in this morning after the long drive through the desert, and we're gonna grab a little McDonald's lunch. <laughs> okay. I see you found a new friend. <laughs> I think he's clowning around, isn't he? Yeah. McDonald's in a train car. I'm geeked at eating a Mc... I'm, I'm geeked at eating in a train car at McDonald's. Okay. This is a new experience for all of us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, look, we're in California. It's even got California. Oh, oh. And it's also got California prices, too. Big Mac meals are like $10, guys. But we are eating in a train car, so I guess that's worth it. Um, I would say it's probably just basic, you know. Ooh, got the Big Mac here. Look at that. Yeah. Big Mac. So anyway, we got the big old Big Mac, and it's not as big as it used to be, right? No, I they think they went down in size. <laughs> they, they, they've, they've shrunk them in size. We're on our final days on Route 66. And we only really got like one more night, and then we're gonna be on Santa Monica Pier probably sometime tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow morning or tomorrow, tomorrow evening or something like that. And there's the train car we just ate in over there. There's like a little bit of a flea market that surrounds McDonald's, doesn't it? Yeah. Even the bathrooms are in a train car. We're getting close. You know, on this trip, we've had a lot of crazy experiences, but eating McDonald's in a train car, I don't know, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, three train cars put together. Here. This is bad country. We have made it to another place my dad wanted to stop. It's called the Bottle Tree Ranch. Take a look at that craziness over there. <laughs> well, let's go inside and, and check this out, right? Welcome. Come on in. What? It's it's trees made out of out of bottles. What do you think about this crazy place? This is really neat. <laughs> wow, it's hard to take it all in. You got a little bit of a little bit of everything. There's Tigger. It is a crazy, crazy place of bottles. <laughs> this is where bottles go when they go to heaven. Yay! Bo bottle heaven. Yes. <laughs> wow. It's it's actually bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. There's actually a Jeep over there buried in them bottles. Yeah. 
Round one. <laughs> oh, there's like a missile or a bomb over here. You see that? Oh, there's some birds. Got some birds living in here. Wow. The light just shimmers off of all these bottles. Here's a, here's a Pepsi bottle and a... Well, hello, varmints. I want to be doing some shooting. <laughs> some lazy bones. Hard to, there's so many little things going on here. It's hard to take it in. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's hard to take all this in. One thousand eight eighty-three or eighteen eighty-three. Wow. A little bit of everything, huh? Kind of like angels on Christmas trees. They just got all kinds. There's a, looks like John Wayne's piece up there. That one there's got a stoplight on it. Up there, it's got an old stoplight. I would say rocks are probably not a good thing here. Or BB guns at that. <laughs> What do you think about this? Sweet. You know, it's hard to take it all in. Every single, every single time I walk around, I see something I didn't see before. I bet you could spend a lot of time out here just taking it all in. Well, if you come here to the ranch, here at the welcome sign, look for Yankee in the South, right here on the, on the cows behind. That's where you'll find us. <laughs> We're here at the Cross-Eyed Cow Pizza. Dawn, there's a fork and a spoon. <laughs> Stuff in there. Yeah, isn't that something? It means it's done. <laughs> it's, it's done? Yeah. <laughs> wow, they got some pretty cool stuff around here. Uh, looks like this thing can fly. It's got a, it's got a tail wing. And it's a low rider. You see that old Volkswagen hippie bus? Yeah, it's really neat. <laughs> it's got surfboards, it's, it's ready to, have some fun, look at it. <laughs> Best pizza. Let's check where we came. We started in Chicago, went through St. Louis, went in Oklahoma, Albuquerque, Flagstaff Needles, Barstow is where we stayed last night. We're here, we're here at Oral Grandy, and next stop is Los Angeles. Eventually we're gonna be Santa Monica Pier. Pier. We're, we're almost there, yeah. Tonight, we're gonna to be staying in a wigwam. Yeah, so we stayed in the wigwams out in Kentucky. This will be our second of the remaining three here in California. What do you think, Don? It'll be fun. Yeah, we're gonna show you what these wigwams are all about. Wigwam number seven. 
I guess he's telling everybody to stay in a wigwam and get your kicks on Route 66. They even got pedal cars for the kids. All the other wigwams are in a circle. This one here, they're stacked too deep. Do you notice that, Don? Yeah. Yeah, it's even got a swimming pool. Look at these ones. These ones are decorated really cute. You see that, Don? Yeah, it's got flowers on it. Yeah, very well taken care of. Well, number 16 back here in the in the corner. I like how they have the newer door card oh, wow. readers. Oh. Yeah, when you walk in, you got the king size bed. That's queen. A queen size bed. Yeah. It's got air conditioning on the wall, right? A little table over there, nightstand. Oh, it's got little arrows. You see that? Yeah, and then if you turn you got a mirror on the wall. Oh yeah, it's a teepee. <laughs> that is really cool. And then Yeah, that is cool. And a coffee table and a TV and old fashioned frigidaire. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's got a refrigerator. And now this one is way more um, bigger. bigger and spacious, spacious and, and nicer than the ones in Kentucky. Yeah. Yes, for and sure. And has a cute little cactus lamp. Isn't that cute with a little flower on them? <laughs> oh, yeah. It is cute. Yeah, that is cool. Now I'm going to take you guys to the bathroom. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta hit the John. Oh, wow. Hi, John. <laughs> this bathroom, I think, is a lot bigger than the one in Kentucky, too. I feel like the sink. Uh, yeah. And then, if you open, close this door. Oh, yeah, the shower. The shower. Dun, 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 dun. What in the heck? So it's like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a sit-in shower, right? Yeah, it's kind it of... It is nice. a sit, I mean, it's not that tall. Look, look at look well, at the... Well, I mean, it looks kind of like a camper being shown. <laughs> you see in campers, right? Wow, yeah. I mean, I'm not that tall, so I think I'll be okay. But the tile work is really, really nice. You really got to step in there to get in there. Holy smokes. Yeah. I guess you could sit in it. <laughs> well, if you want to stay in a wigwam, this is definitely this is it. The shower. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So this is <laughs> really cool. It's got hardwood floors, or at least new, newer style floors, and it's not bad. It's no. Kind of cozy for the night. We've got a TV. No. Definitely. I love the cactus lamp. That just adds a nice touch. <laughs> wow. And you can look out the window and see the car tires. Yeah, you can see the car hard. out there. Well, you don't ever want to stay in a wigwam. Tis the season, right? We're gonna try a wiener schnitzel. Have you have you ever had wiener schnitzel? No, but we're gonna try one. Yeah, I've never had it before, so let's let's see what this wiener schnitzel is all about. So here is our wiener schnitzels. What do you got there? I got a Chicago dog. A Chicago dog, huh? And then pulled pork french fries. Ooh, pulled pork. And then these are my conies. Oh yeah, chili dogs with cheese. Yeah. Chili dogs and cheese. There's two of them. Oh wow, and then some fries. Yeah, I never had this before, so we'll, we'll see what it's about. These pulled pork I and mean, French fries are good. Really? Mm -hmm. Good little bite. We you have your Chicago dog. I didn't know they put pickle relish on it. I wish I would have read the thing better. Wiener schnitzel. It reminds me of an A&W. You know that? Good morning, everyone. We just slept in a wigwam. <laughs> and today is our final day on Route 66. We're going to be heading to Santa Monica Pier. You ready, Dawn? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Yeah, so we're on the final stretch. Heading to Santa Monica Pier. It's gonna be just over an hour drive. 
So pretty much we're going to be driving straight to the Santa pier. Santa Monica Pier. Yes. In sunny and California, which is kind of cold. <laughs> we're going to be staying in a hotel down in Santa Monica. And then, this is the cool part. We're actually going to be heading back to the wigwams for two more nights. Because we actually had a good time. The guy owned it was real nice and stuff. And we talked forever. And uh, So I don't know. I don't know. He was really nice to us. Yeah, he was very, very nice to us. But anyways, guys, we're heading to the Santa Monica Pier. Cucamonga, one of the last stations just outside of L.A. here. This is a really cool old station. It's perfectly restored. They got this fence all the way around it so you can't get close to it. Kind of like a museum piece these days. They're open, what, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, was it, Dawn? So we Let's might come, for Sunday. we'll be in town for a couple days, so maybe yeah. we'll stop back and take a look. But it is a stamp location too. But just a cool little, cool little gas station here. As early as 1914, William Harvey, the original owner of the station had been serving agricultural and motoring needs in the Cucamonga region. Built in 1915, the Cucamonga station continued to serve motorists when this highway became part of Route 66 in 1926. Until then, the station was closed around 1972. We're on the corner of Santa Ana and Huntington. And check out this crazy Denny's. It's got a windmill up there. Yeah, you see that windmill? It's really neat. We decided to get out of the car and take a little walk. We've been driving for quite a while. Oh yeah. Crazy windmill, huh? Crazy windmill. And here we are going across the famous Colorado Bridge here. This bridge was here and well, back in the days of 66. They put these big fences up. But it's a it's an absolute beautiful bridge. Definitely old school. Yeah. What is that, Dawn? Looks like a muffler man with a chicken head on. <laughs> Put on his bucket of chicken. <laughs> wow, that is that is the craziest muffler man. <laughs> His hands are a little bit different, but he's definitely got a bucket of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Route 66 and Chicken Boy. So he's, he's a thing here. The Chicken Boy. That's his official name. Chicken Boy. He's actually a thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, quite, yeah, there he is, the chicken boy. <laughs> and here we are, the final walk of Route 66. We're gonna walk to the end of the pier and this will make it official. What do you think, Don? We're here. We Santa, did it. Yeah. Well, let's take the walk. Wow, the final few feet here. Uh, it's a busy boardwalk today. It's beautiful, nice and breezy. And there it is, the pier. It's a long way. <laughs> We're walking. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. There it is, Dawn. <laughs> the end of the Mother Road. Route 66. End of the trail. 
We done it. We have done it, didn't we? <laughs> oh. We're here at the end of the mother road, Santa Monica. Here, 66. Guys, yes, a long, long trip. 22 days on the road. <laughs> and uh, wow, we're here, we're here. Uh, I just wanna say, good. we did it, Dad. We did it. We made it. I got the pin that matches. <laughs> There's actually a welcome uh, booth over here, and the guy who runs it's very knowledgeable. We talked for over an hour and a half. We did. And stuff. Yes, we got the last stamp in the book. And uh, wow. It's amazing, guys. We've done it. Um, I'm trying not to get choked up here. But, you know, we did it, Dad. We did it. And um, it was fun. You know, if you want to see what this country's about, and you want to see how big it is, and you want to, you want to immerse yourself in Americana and, and meet great folks that you'll take as friends, I highly recommend Route 66, guys. We're not uh, experts at Route 66, nor we claim to be experts. We're just some folks who started in Chicago and ended up here in Santa Monica Pier in California. So, um, we had a great time. We learned a lot of things and met a lot of folks. What do you think, Don? Awesome. You Hi, made Folks, that's going to do it from here in Santa Monica Pier on Route 66. If you guys like this vlog, give a thumbs up. We love you all, and we'll see you guys, well, tomorrow because we're in California, so we're going to be doing some California stuff. And we got to head back. Lots of stuff to do heading back to Tennessee. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.